in their outdoor space than I have in my house. You know, it's uh, that's extreme. Outdoor living spaces are very, you know, it's a big thing. Like, people spend a lot of money, which is good because most of it's masonry. But yeah, generally speaking, the four-way intersection is the big faux pas. That's something you don't want to do. Um, and little stones, you know, having stuff here. Yeah. Unfortunately, like if you have a bunch of one by ones, and then you just have one two by three, it looks out of balance. Which is what's really nice about just taking a piece of graph paper and drawing it out. Like I might redraw one six times before I like what it looks like. Um, that way you're not in the field and at the end of the day you stand up and you're like, man, that corner looks like garbage. You know, you have a bunch of the same size stone in one area or something weird going on. Um, the draw it out's nice. And it's nice to be able to show a homeowner too. You alleviate any discussions at the end of a project. You show them what they're going to get, you install what you talked about, and they can't say anything like, oh, I don't like all the one-by-ones in the patio, you know, like, or, you know, just any, you want to alleviate anything that you can from the equation. Are you pulling this up today, Pete? I like this roll, No, we'll let it sit. Are you going to leave it? Yeah, we'll let it sit for a while. For a while? And if you guys, if any of you are, you know, interested, I guess, if he's going to leave us for a while, you know, in expanding it, or, you know, once this fireplace is torn down, you want to expand, we can bring more stone down and you guys can, yeah, you guys can, can practice. You know, happy to provide the material. Yeah, and the, the thermal and is you, really nice to work with because of the consistency, but some of the natural crush stuff is pretty crazy. As far as sizing, you know, you've got a stone that's a quarter inch different than the dimension it should be. Any more? You're no, no, this is, yeah, everything's tight. Should just go a little higher. That's what I get for not stringing lines. Yeah, and another thing that a lot of, uh, here's some, I don't know if I'll be able to show it accurately, but. This stone will be a good example. Say this corner is high, okay? Say if this corner of the stone was a half inch high. A lot of times, you're, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna think, oh, I gotta hit this spot, right? This spot's high, I gotta whoop on that corner. Well, when, when you're setting flagstone, this is my biggest pet peeve, I don't know why guys do our guys do it all the time you hit slightly off center of the stone because the mortar bed underneath of it needs to be displaced equally, okay? Like, if I start just whooping on one side, um, it drives that side down and it pushes this side up. So you're over here and you're beating on this side of the stone and you get it down to where it should be and then you look over here, now this is a quarter inch high. Then you come over here and this gets start beating on this side again. You know, by the end of it, the whole stone dropped too low. So when you're setting these things, you know, you hit slightly off center in the direction that's too high. Let's set, let's set this up, uh, like mess it up.